This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Oil majors are targeting new oil fields that can be profitable even if oil prices fall to about $30 per barrel, using a third year of rising demand to reshape portfolios amid uncertainty over the industry's future. Investors have not returned to oil stocks despite recent high earnings. Even the world's lowest-cost oil producer, Saudi Aramco, has joined the rush to cut costs. The shift to fields with favorable break-even points follows deeper and more frequent boom cycles in the last decade. It also reflects executives' belief that current high prices may not last. After three major oil price crashes in 15 years, there is wide acceptance that another one is likely to happen, said Alex Beaker, director of corporate research at energy consultancy Wood McKenzie. U.S. crude oil stockpiles rose last week while gasoline and distillate inventories fell as refining dropped to their lowest levels since December 2022, the Energy Information Administration said on Wednesday. Crude inventories rose by 12.0 million barrels to 439.5 million barrels in the week to February 9, the EIA said, far exceeding analysts' expectations in a Reuters poll for a 2.6 million barrel build. A combination of major unplanned outages since a mid-January winter storm and planned turnarounds led to a slump in refining to its lowest levels since the last week of December 2022, when winter storm Elliott similarly knocked scores of refineries offline. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Iraq will review its oil production and address any excess output above its OPEC plus voluntary cuts in the coming four months, if found, the oil ministry said in a statement on Wednesday. It followed a visit to Iraq by Saudi Energy Minister Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman, during which Iraqi Prime Minister Shir al-Sudani told him it was important for the two countries to align their views to maintain stability in the oil market. Last November, OPEC Plus agreed to voluntary output cuts totaling about 2.2 million barrels per day, BPD, for the first quarter of this year led by Saudi Arabia rolling over a 1 million barrel of oil per day voluntary reduction. Marine bunker fuel sales in Singapore kickstarted 2024 on a firm note. The latest data for January showed, climbing 12.1% year on year as shipping disruptions in the Red Sea spurred more ships to refuel in the city state. Sales at the world's largest bunker hub totaled 4.91 million metric tons in January. Data from Singapore's Maritime and Port Authority released late on Wednesday showed, Ships have been topping up more at hubs such as Singapore where fuel is more competitively priced compared to farther-flung ports, market sources said, after a growing number of vessels rerouted around Africa to avoid potential attacks. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Copper edged higher on Thursday, buoyed by a slight pullback in the US dollar and lower inventories, although prices were hemmed in a narrow range as markets in top metals consumer China were closed for the Lunar New Year holidays. Three-month copper on the London Metal Exchange, LNE, was up 0.3% at $8,220.50 a metric ton, as of 0534 GMT. The dollar index eased 0.1% against its rivals, after hitting a three-month high on Tuesday as traders pushed back bets for a first Federal Reserve rate cut following surprisingly hot U.S. inflation figures. Palladium rose by 8% on Wednesday, regaining a premium against its sister metal platinum, as some investors covered the short positions after the volatile metal held above the $900 level. Spot Palladium was up 7.9% at $932.14 per troy ounce by 16.53 GMT. This was the metal's biggest one-day gain in two months. Prices had touched their lowest in more than five years of $849.13 on Tuesday. We believe some short positions are getting covered which was to be expected at one point in time, said Dominic Spurzel, co-head of trading at Heraeus. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. 
Farm Office France Agri Mail on Wednesday raised its forecast for French soft wheat stocks at the end of this season to a 19-year high as competition from Ukraine curbs French exports to other European Union countries. French soft wheat stocks at the end of the season on June 30 are now seen at 3.50 million metric tonnes, up from 3.44 million forecast last month, France Agri Mail said. That would be a 37% increase on last season's stocks and is up from Francy Grimmer's forecast of 3.44 million tonnes last month. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.